lang Kufra against this uh, Ruby. Actually, what if they go for the Phobius? Maganda ang Phobius ngayon para sa NXP Evos. Pang-cancel siya dun sa Eve. Decent siya na lane against Blue. At maraming mga dash. Instead, they go Edith para sa smart hmm. para sa next for Evos. Although, they missed out on that opportunity na kumuha ng Phobius. It, it is very good dun sa composition niya. So, Edith here going to the XP lane, si Oreshi ang nilalaro niyan. And then, Cadenza, Kufra. Alright, so, mid-Daves. Oh, sorry, yeah, mid, mid-Sicilion. Ang mangyayari dito, Donut's gonna be playing the Claude. So, malino nga, may mga lanes or may mga farming phases lang ang uh, next play Evos. Tapos, Omega yeah. naman, a little more orthodox. Parang, mas gets natin kung ano yung tempo at yung galaw yeah. ng Omega in this game here. Alright, so, so... It's like a, your, your textbook um, uh, mid-range or mid-range or mid-game <laughs> na composition. Mm -hmm. Ang masasabi ko dito sa Claude Pick, uh, sobrang tricky niya kasi in theory, in, uh, kaya niyang counterin yung mga heroes or may sagot siya dun sa heroes ng, uh, ng Omega individually. For example, okay, good siya with Glue kasi may Art of Thievery but meron siyang pang outplay dahil meron siyang dash. I mean, meron siyang BMI. Tapos, kaya niyang i-run down with DHS. Um, individually din, good siya against Eve, di ba? Pwede ka nga mag-BMI sa likod, up your ultimate, kill the Eve. Individually good against Olus kasi mahirapan yung Olus double shot, pwede siya maubusan ng buhay before he is able to hit the Claude. But, put them all together as a combo na may kasamang Ruby at tapos meron pa siyang kasamang Sicilian, baka dun siya mahirapan. We're gonna see how this pans out. Game number two, tingnan natin. Match point nga pala for Omega. It's do or die for next right. play, Evos. Let's go to game number two. And on the map, we'll see 30 seconds in. Ruby on Chakno to catch. And ito na, bottom lane. Ito na, Wolf, pinapahirapan. Nilendyo si Ureshi. Clear win yeah. for the Glue. 100%. Uh, glue yata yung mga pinakamalakas na lane bully ngayon. I honestly felt na next play, Evos could have... could have picked up the Phobius instead. Kasi, kung, di ba nung nauso yung Ruby at yung Eve, ang autoban nun kapag gusto mong gamitin yun is the Phobius. Why? Because Phobius mm -hmm. can cancel yung ultimate ng Eve. Gamit yung kanyang Astaroth's Eye. Second, puro dash kasi yung Ruby. At lahat ng, uh, every time magsiskill si Ruby, meron siyang dash. Which means that's automatic na maganda yung Phobius. At also, kaya niya mag frontline against, front against Omega. Not even... Uh, considering na meron pang ibang mga heroes na pwedeng uh, ma-burst down nga naman itong Phobius. But instead, they went in for the Edith. I wonder if this will be enough. Kasi nakikita nga natin na nahihirapan na siya agad against Renzio. Oo. Uh, uh, ang hirap. Uh, I, was, I was thinking okay lang na maging dead lane itong Edith. Pero kung ganyan ka panalo, kung ganyan kalamang si Renzio, it's gonna be harder for the Sicilian and the Claude to farm up on Haze and on Donut. Ito natin top lane mo. Masasandwich yata si Donut. Hindi maganda. It should have off come first blood. Outplayed gets the kill. Yeah. One thing that we have not talked about yet is uh, okay na, uh, yung Popolid Koopa na last pick ng Omega is really good against the Claude. Kasi uh, although obviously yung uh, Blazing Duet affects both the uh, Popol and the Koopa but in the laning stage ang hirap niyan para kay Donut. Na weapon master to na at pag once na ma-clear niya agad yung lane at muna siya mag-level oh! 4 automatically masustan niya agad and mahirap talaga nakakaharapin to not to mention Wolf 2 minutes pa lang nasa 1-8 na lang ng buhay yung Tore kinailangan na oh, ng ma. baby sitter dito si Donut and now Chuck Nu tries to escape that's going to be the old by Haze Taanon drawing a line and all this time hindi ganun ka confident kahit na lahat ng miyembro ng Omega majority nasa top lane hindi makapag-turtle ng libre si H2. Ganun ka rin na-respeto yung lineup ng Omega kasi nga, ang ganda rin ng early game ramp up. Yeah. And this means na Omega ay maging sobrang komportable sa game na to. Unlike the previous game kung saan hirap yung Olus, this time pwede, pwede siyang mag-roam around sa mapa. Ang laki na nalamang niya. And I'm pretty sure na naka-dip din siya dun sa may top lane kung saan na napotomba na kalahat ng outer turret energy shield. So may extra go dyan na nakuha. Ngayon, they're moving in for the turtle. Oh, oh, oh. There's a pull by the Mamba, outplayed, going 1v1 with the Lancelot. The H2 gets his man, and Chakra was a stun. 3v1 now, and Flicker used up. 
Oh, na this Ruby? Ngayon, next to Evos, sila naman ang babawi, sila naman ang kukuha ang libreng gold dito sa top lane inhibitor. Oh, top lane tier 1. Oh, but the next change is Omega Esports kuha dun sa may bottom lane. So, uh, tama lang din yung palitan dito ng side ng Omega Esports at NXP. However, na, naubusan ng minions sa itong bottom lane uh, Omega Esports. So, nakabawi talaga ang NXP. Now, Donut. All of a sudden, may DHS na siya. And at 4 minutes, oh, pero, still pretty good timing for this Claude. Makakagat siya. Yeah, and nabawi, nabawi na nga eh. Even if that was the first blood, you isang bisita na yun ng uh, next to Evo sa top lane. Nahabol nila na close lane gap. Exactly. Parang 500 na lang. Yup. And this means na uh, NXP Evo sa uh, Premier with Donut. By the way, Donut opted to go for Avarice na typically hindi na go to ng mga Claude. Ooh! Thank you. Oh. So this trends your buying time again. Kanina nang 1v5 siya pero nasa late game na yun. Ngayon, 4 minutes, kaya 3v1. Yeah. Hindi pa kaya. Uh, Donut picked up. Uh, I didn't catch that. Pero baka boots niyo yun. At 4 minutes and uh, 45 seconds, maganda na yung uh, estado ng, next, ng uh, gold lane ng NXT Evos. We're talking about how difficult this crowd uh, game will be kapag early game. But this time, ma maganda yung kanyang tempo. Nakakuha pa siya ng lane dito sa may mid. So, pwede, uh, binibigyan niyata siya ng two lanes ng NXT Evos. Uh, then again, push all the thing. 2v3 situation down here in bottom lane and there's the blazing turret. Medyo makate na nga rin. Between these two main damage sources ng next play Evos, napa-retreat doon si Renzio at si Ryzen. Yup. Uh, DHS na ang, ang item ni Donut. So, pumupulit na to. Makate na. But, yun yung problema kapag natalanan siya dito ni Renzio. Uh, and as we saw, based on the new patch, ladies and gentlemen, sobrang dali nang mang-grab-grab. After the split split, almost instantaneous yan based on the new mechanic. Pero wait lang, tatalo lang sa dito. Mika Denza, Ryzen punished hard. Kapapatay siya doon. Nang dalawa dito and there's no response. Another turtle is gonna go over to the next play Evo. Kasi kulang din ang klase ng red ring. That's gonna be Chiyos going up for next play Evo. Reward manipulation, nagahanap, nagagrab-graban dito si Renzio. Now blazing the wet dun sa likod, si Kapitan Kaidi. It's gonna be the battle mirror image out. Reshi nasa kaya dito ni Renzio. Tapat ba ang damage? Dadalik ng ilayang ng torrent. Now goes the Edith. Make her out by Renzio. There's the punish. Phantom execution into the torrent rose. Kulang niyang isang oh. baby attack. Hindi pa napatay ni H2. John Paul Salonga walking away. No kills. Well, Renz. Si Renzo was definitely safe by Chaco. Ang yung sinasabi natin na stun ng Ruby na nakaka-irita kung ikaw ay assassin going up against the Ruby. Yung pang-cancel, yung combo breaker na mechanic na yun. Habang kumuha si H2 ng orange buff, we'll see a little bit of the turtle fight that happened. You can see si Donut inultian agad dito si Eve. And ito yung one of the reasons why we're saying na sagot yung Claude doon sa Eve because solely on that. Renzo able to get a kill onto the Edith. Uh, already showing na superior explainer talaga ang blue. Mm -hmm. Oh, real time! Round 2, how about it? Finally, Renzo goes down. Kinompo siya sa ilalim ng tier 1 in mid. Nakabawi ang next play Evos doon. Where, by the way, nakakuha na sila ng gold lead. I think Outplayed has started joining fights more kaya hindi siya nakaka-farm masyado. Natatagalan siya mag-manage ng top lane. Ngayon hindi na lang siya sa baba. And because of that, lamang na ang uh, next to Evos. Pero very small kasi mabawi wow. na sila. Another potential kill on to Chaknu. Mangilog survives. Backing out. Pero ito, inetreaten mo nila ang push sa mid. Ayaw umalis sa next to Evos. Yep. It's all about that push. Para, it's all about the mid lane. Para sa pares sa team sa toad. Not giving up. Eh. One thing pala na masasabi ko dito about sa Popolin Kupa, it's good uh, sa last pick para sa Omega Esports, but we uh, forgot about the fact na masaya si H2 na merong uh, uh, Popolin Kupa sa side ng Omega Esports. Yung extra dashes, extra puncture mm -hmm. during team fights. That one extra can mean the world para sa isang Lancelot in the late portion, the latter portion of the game of when the team fight does happen. This time, ang Lord ang pag-aagawan ng dalawang teams. And H2 already up with a Blade of Despair. Gagamitin nila to. Look at the positioning of Chakto as well as Outplay. Pwede lang Cowboy. Yun na nga. Oh! May lockdown sila. Pinili at ang Blazing Duet. Nabuhay pa si Outplay doon. Pero si Donut not in any shape to fight. That's going to be one major factor para sa next play Evo. So say wait lang mamaya na guys. Hindi pa natin to kaya. Pa-purple muna. Page 2. May Lito Wanderer. Tsaka meron din siyang uh, 
uh, Purify. That's why he managed to survive to survive that uh, pick-off. Outplayed almost, but not quite. Oh, uh, that's a nice job by Cadenza. Mapipick off here Donut gets the kill. And slowly but surely, ang ganda ng ramp up ng isang Claude into this early into this mid game we're leaving the mid game dahil uh, 9 minutes in na this is going to be an early lord nasan si Ryzen no? I don't think they can contest this it's very difficult yeah, and that's it uh, they wala rin naman dito sa area but then again ang uh, NXP meron silang Claude so pwede to slowly nakakunin ito ka uh, Lord they are in with that another jump okay. in and full Yakun Oh my god. Okay, so well done from NXP Evos. So, uh, na hinawakan talaga din yun. Masyadong malayo si uh, Ryzen. Well done out. Nakita niyo nung, nung binugaw ni Chakno ang NXP Evos. Inultihan niya doon uh, yung kopo ng uh, NXP. It was Ed Edith plus uh, Hufra. Hindi pinitawa ng NXP. Nag-back lang sila ng konti. Tapos nasalo ng isang member nila yung Lord. Kaya hindi nag-reset. And then eventually, dahil super low na yung Lord, sila rin nasa advantage. Eto Max had to pop the uh, ultimate. Ang ganda nung kanilang pag-collapse kay Donut. Kasi alam nila walang purify eh. So saktong-sakto yung kagat ni Outplate. Tapos hindi na nakatakas dahil na-stun dun sa boundary ng real world manipulation na reset. But yung Sanguine Claws was perfectly used by the side of NXP Evos. Nakita natin mula kay uh, Yeli Hayes. Na napigilan talaga niya yung pag uh, pag additional kills na Omega Evos punching Yup! And just like that, walang maisagot si Chak nung nahuli siya ng combo after combo ng skills ng next play Evos and they opened up bottom lane pero top lane bumabawi, trabaho lang dito si Ryzen, Mr. Sumagi, taken one so again Wolf, I think babalik na naman tayo sa point na Omega naman ang magka-spike kasi Basta tama yung positioning ng itong Aulus. Yun lang naman kalaban niya eh. Mobility. Basta maganda ang lugar niya. He might be good. Ang Dying Fury. Placed here to stop the push. And ngayon sasalawin ni Renzio ang ult ni, ka, ni uh, Apple Peach, ni Hades. We're looking oh. for that spike for Omega. Yun ang bawi nila. Pero next week, was there in control. Yep. Oh, wow. I, I, I uh, really think that may cause me semi may may small rivalry itong dalawang teams so, team so many times na nakita natin when Omega Esports go up against next days Evos nag-init like, talaga mga laban and usually it, end, it ends up in a full series man lagi kung mm -hmm. three, best of 3 on it will end up 2-1 for sure in either team at hindi ako magulat kung ganito yung mangyari especially with how NXP is handling yung kanilang composition it was very expensive Meron silang Cecilion, meron silang Claude. Kailangan nila talaga pumunta sa late game. But so far, so good for their team. Sila yung nakakalamang at 12 minutes. And that's all that they are needing. And Hayes, nakakuha na nga siya ngayon ng kanyang purple buff. Which means na madali niyang de madedepensahan yung mga lanes. Kaya niyang i-spam lang talaga yung kanyang mga spells. Yep, now that we're talking about Hayes, kanina pa tayo donut ng donut. Kanina pa lang pinapansin yung Claude na kung paano siya nag-survive ng early. Naka-push siya, natitreta niya si Kaidik. Pero... Hindi natin napapansin na ang sakit na rin pala ng Cecilion. Sobrang threat na talaga ngayon ni Hayes. So Omega Esports, ang dami nang inisip, ang dami nang kailangang i-manage. Uh, And looking at the item game, kulang na lang ng isa pang full item. Well, pabuo na to. Pabuo na itong item ni, uh, ni Donut. Pero on the way na siya. And not to mention, maganda rin naman ang farm ni uh, H2 dito. He hasn't died. Siya at si Hayes, hindi pa namamatay. So, very importante nun. <laughs> very important. And nag, nag slow down yung ating laban. Finally, may DHS na si Outplay kasi he went for the defense build mo na. Wind of Nature yung kanyang uh, pinaprioritize. This time, he's gonna hit uh, hard in the DHS. Pwede niyang bigyan yung Edith. Pwede niyang i-focus yung Edith as well as the Kufra. Ito yung sinasabi natin na minsan kailangan mong bigyan yung mga nasa harap ng sang laban. And sometimes yun yung uh, nagiging uh, 
toka ng mga marksman. For in, in the case of the Claude, ang kailan naman yung puta na backlight. Kasi meron siyang PMI and he needs to manage tong si Etomax. That's why he went for the good force breastplate. I think Wind of Nature din yung kanyang isusunod afterwards para at least makapag-duelo siya versus Olos as well as this Populate Pupa. We'll see. Now, Chakno already tanking up. Naka-tenacity siya. Tapos, meron na siya ngayong uh, Radiant Armor, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, it's not a Radiant Armor. Uh, uh, he went for Athena Shield for the Magic Defense against MXP Evos. And now, ma meron na tayong uh, Lord ulit. And everybody is trying to hide. Look at the positioning of the members of MXP Evos. Per, uh, orange buff ang gusto kong kunin ng H ni H2. Nanakawin nila to. And there's a backup from Oreshi. And now we see, ganito ka lumang ang next play Evo. So, uh, at least in, in, in the uh, positioning, no, they're willing to just go for the defensive items first. They're investing in the immortalities first. Kasi gusto lang patagalin yung laban. And so far, Cadenza gonna start up the fight. Might have been a little too soon. That's gonna be the pull in. They're setting up for the close. Ang dami kinatamaan. Irendi yung pa mapapasama. What a counter engage. A push and pull back and forth. And just like that, talagang hindi yung laban. Ako pwede kunin ang Omega dahil ang layo ni Irendi yung. Another free lord going over next to Evo. Sobrang ganda ng item na pala ni Donut dito. Instead of going for Wind of Nature, he went for Corrosion Scythe. Para, mas, uh, para meron talaga siyang uh, way para uh, ma hindi makatakas yung mga tanky heroes na Omega Esports. Particularly this Ruby, this uh, Glue. And uh, also, kapag eventually na ipag-duel siya kay Ryzen, ma mas, mas lalamang siya sa laban at kaya niyang ikite ng madali itong uh, ating Olus. Then again, NXP. Na punish ulit nila. And guess what? The main problem still for Omega Esports is the Sanguine Claws. Makita natin na nung ginaw ng Omega Esports yung uh, si Cadenza, nung tumalang si Cadenza, na try nilang i-punish, medyo nagsama-sama sila, nagkibit-kibit sila with Venture needing to go up close and personal. It meant na swak na swak yung Sanguine Claws. And syempre may damage output na yung NXP Evos. Now they're on the lead. Definitely, nasa kanila na ang lamang ng momentum, pati na rin ng ekonomiya ng laban na to. Blue team turret mm -hmm. has been destroyed. And just like that, all the waves perfectly sync, perfectly managed by next play Evos. An assault on all sides. Dedependa naman sa baba dito ni Ryzen, yun lord. So, at least signs of life, no? Ganun na kalakas yung aulos natin. Nakapag-scale na siya, na kaya niya i-1v1 yung lord at 14-15 minutes. Still, ha, no, wala na siyang ultimate dito, but it, it really can be just used dun sa uh, pag-clear ng waves. And uh, with all due fairness para sa Omega Esports, hindi sila na, nakuha ng inhibitor, pero wala na silang mga outer at inner turrets. We'll see. Mukha na nakaw din ng purple buff itong NXP, which is just natural. Ibigay mo yan dun sa Lancelot para yung sarili nila purple buff ay mapupunta doon sa Sicilian. Mm -hmm. And this might be a fight that they're willing to force. There's the Mamba with the pole, Cadenza. Mapapabagsak na dito. Another black impact in Sanguine Cross combo. Blazing the way dito kay Donut. Forced to be in my back. Pero ngayon mababa yung buhay ng sinakyan ni Renz dito. Ryzen goes down. Still no trades. Pero ang mababa ng buhay ng next nice Evo. But they're juggling it. They're juggling it. Two for one so far. Si Oreshi pala ang trinade para kay Renz dito at Ryzen. And just like that, hindi makahanap ng bawi. Walang ma-capitalize ang Omega Esports. Panalo pa rin sa exchange ang next play. Oh, sa, sa itong melee-based composition ng Omega Esports na kailangan nilang lumapit with Chakno, Regio, as well as Ryzen. Sobrang napapanish itong Cecilion. Uh, Sanguine Claws again, uh, thwarting yung attack ng Omega Esports. Tapos ganda ng timing ni H2 going for that. Kill doon kay Ryzen. Nung alam niya wala nang spells na maibabato si Ryzen. Tsaka siya pumunta doon and finishing it off with the uh, retribution damage per second. And that means na 5-0 and 2 na ngayon itong si H2. Top of all the items that he has, War Axe, tapos may Endless Battle and Malefic Roar at sakit niyan, and then additional Wind Talker for even more damage. Finish it off with a Blade of Despair. Everything is doing well para kay H2. Nakakuha na siya na kanyang potion na din and they're looking to end this game. Pwede nilang hintayin yung 18-minute mark. And Donut already starting this, pero obviously, re-reset lang din na yan. Unless, yeah. ayun ah, nilang. Ah, Aabot naman. Aabot ah, ah, naman. Chaku though, he picked up the, the Blade Armor. So... Nasagot sila yung donut problem, pero si Apple P siya pa rin eh. Di ba taanon? Si Hayes pa rin. Napakasahin nila. Nila ako sa pila. Ryzen burst it down! Wow! Ang laking loss nun! Ang stakit nun! And now, Blazing the Whip, maaga. Burst down si Chakno dito. Sanguine Claws gonna take him down! Hayes gets another two free kills for next play Evos. 
split team fights not for them hindi magandang uh, sitwasyon yon dahil next week ko sobrang lamang nila isa na namang lord possibly wolf lord for the finish oh my it definitely looks like it in late game prowess ng NXP EVOS ay full potential na uh, Leo they have Sicilian and Claude Sobrang lakas ng uh, kanilang firepower sa ngayon. For Omega Esports, mid-game yung kanilang spike. Itong Olus, maganda naman siya sa late game in, in a way. Pero kung ikumpara ba yan sa Claude Cedar, ako hindi niya kakayanin. Oh, hindi naasakay si Renzio. Walang nakuha ng grab-grab. They're struggling to defend these lanes. They're struggling to stay alive. Pero ngayon, fully recovered. They're all respond. Pero... Nag-respond din si Lord, you know, 15 seconds in, hindi pa tapos ang Diluvio. May kalbaryo pang hinaharap ang Omega Esports. What are their options here to defend? Anong plano nila dito dapat? So, ultimate uh, for sure ni Ryzen. Pwede niyang ibabad para dun sa mga minions. And have him support. Chuck uh, no siya yung uh, bahala mag-defend. Of course, meron silang Eve uh, for the defense. So, at meron naman talagang hope para sa defense ng Omega Esports. But this is playing not to lose. Tignan natin kung paano siya approach ang NXP. Yup, this is a very difficult situation. And look at this! The full combo! Blazing to it! Plus the ult! And that's going to be one down. Renzio going. Ryzen, may napap siya isang pure talty doon. He's still gonna wail there. The winter construction. And there's the jump in. First and down. Sika din sa mga final hit. And the Lord is still standing. May waves pa rin dito. Pero mababa ang buhay. Ni Haze, mababa ang buhay niya. Apple Pitcha. Walang na-trade dito ang Omega Esports muli. Two inhibitors, two kills, no casualties. Next to Evos, happy to leave this for the next Lord. 80 seconds away. Oh, yeah. Save for the immortality. Sobrang ganda nito. We can see na yun talaga eh. Yung melee comp ng uh, Omega Esports sa kailangan nilang lumapit. Sobrang daling ipanan siya NXP. Uh, to the point na ito nga Kufra ay uh, siya na nga talaga yung sobrang nauna. Typically, mag-aabang ka pa talaga ng tamang moment mo. But... In, in that particular clash, na una na doon si Cadenza. He knows na mayroong iba pang ways para makapunch ang NXP dahil mayroong pa rin Edith, mayroong pa rin Cecilion. Nakakuha sila na push it sa may bottom lane. Super duper happy with the, with the result of this. At in uh, 50 seconds, the next Lord will come anyways. And all they can do, all they need to do right now is to close it out. Yeah. Time is on next play Evo side. Omega Esports, ito na yun eh. Like, most likely, ito na yung final form nila. Approach na lang ang kaya nila i-tweak. Next to Evos, peak performance na to. So, at 21 minutes, if anything, lumalakas pa si Haze dahil sa stocks na nakukuha niya. So, Omega's waiting for a miracle. Omega's looking for that small mistake. Kasi, di ba, back to back, ni pick off, wala eh. Hirap na hirap ang Omega humanap. Exactly. At this point, wait, oh, mas happy lang na! Excuse me! Disgusters what? first hit! What? <laughs> Na-pick off si H2! First, man. To be fair, nabasa na Omega yun. Kanina pa nandun si H2. Kanina niya pag ginagawa yung approach na yun. And that's gonna be a jump out to Chakno. Mabubuhay ba siya? Answer is yes. He still has an immortality. And that's going to be Blazing Duet already. Real Revelation. Cancelled. Stuck. Oh, I'll play. But that's all I'm going to hold that. Tyrant's Rage into an event. And that's going to be the Immortality. Burst it down by Haze. One for one so far. Mahirap. That was a very, very key member of Omega that they took down. But Oreshi gets his ultimate pop. Undying Fury. Keeping them down. That's the slows. That's the flip. Oreshi not going to walk. But Omega Eto Max gets him one. Kaidik going for the two for one trade. So far, Omega Esports still alive. Ito yung pinakauna lang win in a long time. Pero wait, hindi pa tapos. Ang next play, there's Immortality. Back onto the Mamba. Chaknu. Joshua Mangino gonna go down here. That's the Blazing the West. Cross the knockout. And that's gonna be three down. May nakarespawn na ulit. Wait lang. Boy pa, Omega Esports is managing the waves. Nako, ang ganda ng timing yung next play. Wolf, they're all gonna be back in time for this final Lord. Possibly final Lord. Ang apat. Yo, man. Super duper good, tapos walang immortality si Chuck nung if ever. Sobrang bilis nilang ulit ito. We can see na ang nangyari, nag nagkaroon ulit ang pendulum eh. Parang itong pendulum we're in. Kapag nakakuha lang isang pick of his team, tapos nag-overextend sila, mapupunta ng sobra-sobrang uh, rubber band pala. Hindi pala pendulum rubber, rubber band siya dun sa posing end kasi mag -re respawn na yung unang na-pick off. And that's exactly what happened in this game. Naubusan ng firepower ang Omega Esports and now NXP. They have got the advantage. A game ending lord for sure.
Tingnan natin kung kaya pa nilang depensahin. Three lanes ang magtutulak. At may kasama pang uh, extra buffs. Just like an orange buff. Around this Lord uh, area. And walang immortalities. Apart from oh. Ryzen. Ang uh, Titan Omega. Wait lang. This is like that movie 300. They're trying to defend this one lane. Nagara sila na magandang defense sa kadin sa umigod igod like stretching. Wala muna sa Pirates Rage. And there you go. Benzio getting hit with the back claws. Puncture on through with the turn road. There's the knock up. Delegado Picano. Blazing the web. Papaso pa. Patay sila ng isa. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all she wrote. Next to Evos. Even the score. One to one. Wolf. Sabi nga natin. Kapag NXP laban sa Omega. Talaga makakita tayo ng game number three. Yeah, this is uh, expected. I'm ready ko na sarili ko for this, and I want it to happen for sure. Hindi po yung matapos na lang ang kampanya ng NXP Evos with a 2-0 mula sa Omega Esports. We are going to a game decider, and just like all times, para sa dalawang teams na to, whoever loses exits the tournament, and may isa pang buhay ang mananalo. The stakes are so high. Pati na rin ang teams natin, napaganda napa ng pinapakitang intensity in this game. These